Did you just get started on Ozempic? I'm Ethan, I'm a pharmacist. I'm gonna show you the correct way on how to use your Ozempic pen. So when you get prescribed Ozempic, all your doses for the medication will just be in one pen. So unlike Trulistin and Manjaro, it's usually you get four pens, all your doses should be in the one pen. First things first, make sure the expiration date's good. Then you wanna make sure you're keeping this in the refrigerator. What I tell patients is you can take the pen out like an hour before giving the dose, because sometimes when it's cold, it may cause some like, you know, injection pain, but usually you're not gonna feel it at all. Before you use it, you're gonna clean the top with an alcohol swab. Your box should come with needles, so you're gonna use a needle like this. You, because this is sterile already, you don't need to like swab anything here. You're gonna peel this back. And this has already been swabbed, so you're gonna screw this in like this. Okay. Keep this because you're gonna need this to take it off. This is just a safety cap. This is not the needle. Take that off. Okay, perfect. And then what I recommend doing just to make sure that the pen is working, you wanna just, I'm gonna try to show you. So you're gonna go up to see where these like little two dot things is. If you have trouble seeing, what I recommend is just doing one to two clicks. And then what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna then push it. Okay, and then you could see a little bit of the liquid came out, which is good. So that means this pen is working and you're not wasting any doses by doing this because it is accounted for when the manufacturer makes this pen. Okay, so we did that. Now, if I just got started on Ozempic, I'm gonna be on the 0 0.25 milligram dose. So what you're gonna do is, is, I think you can see this, is you're gonna scroll up until you get to 0.25, which is gonna take right there. Okay, but you know, for example, say if you go too far, it's okay. You can go back and you can get to the 0.25. Okay, perfect. So we're at 0.25 milligrams. Then what I'm gonna do, and that's up to you, is usually, is what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna swab the area. So usually you wanna do about like one to two fingers away from your stomach, so like this. And then what you're gonna do is then you're gonna hold it like this, push with your hand on the button, and then you're gonna just inject it there. Honestly, it does not feel like anything. And so I can just show you what I'm gonna do. And so you go in here, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, and you wait until it goes all the way down and then it clicks. And then that's it. Oh, this was just saline. I didn't give myself Ozempic, but I wanted to show you that it is really not that painful. Then if it goes back down to zero, that's when you know you got the full dose. So you need to press and hold this the entire time. Then once you're done, you're gonna take this clear cap, because remember I said to keep this, you're gonna then twist it and then go the opposite way. So you're gonna go left, um, which is counterclockwise. And then you're gonna just do that. And then look, the needle's gone. And then you're gonna throw this in a sharps container. I'm gonna put the cap back on and then just put this back in your fridge. And then you're gonna give your dose the next week. And then my best piece of advice is do it around the same time. So if you're a morning person, do it in the morning. If you're an evening person, do it in the evening, but keep it consistent on the same day and around the same time. As a reminder, do not increase your dose until your doctor recommends it. So you're gonna stay on a specific dose, usually for four weeks, and then you'll increase to the next dose.